Uh, okay, so we're just going to introduce now our trauma line. It is a Terumo 7 French product um, designed for vascular access in the femoral, uh, jugular or subclavian vessels. Uh, we've chosen 7 French as a compromise between acceptable flow rates in a hypovolemic patient uh, and a minimal, I guess, sheet diameter um, um, in case we get an inadvertent um, puncture of an artery uh, rather than a vein. Um, we uh, have an 18 gauge introducer needle. Both of these will be kept with the intravenous uh, access box underneath the I easy IO needles. Um, of course, sterile technique is the standard of care and um, uh, we would expect that people make every effort to make it a sterile technique. However, the reality is in the pre-hospital environment, uh, we should not consider this sterile and that should be handed over to the accepting team. Um, we carry chlorhexidine swabs um, and although we don't have a sterile drape in the pre-hospital kit, um, a clean field could be made with either the insert the sterile glove packet or the sterile ultrasound probe cover. As such, the site should be cleaned. Um, the choice of site and whether an ultrasound or blind technique is used is dependent on the operator's uh, preference, uh, with reference particularly to their previous expertise. The 18 gauge needle um, and the seven French sheath to the introducer wire should be assembled um, a means to secure the device afterwards uh, should be thought of as well um, so options include suturing although that may take um, time a tegaderm or a defibrillation pad may be an option and I would uh, take care to also secure with tape the giving set down the patient's arm for example to prevent any inadvertent traction and removal of the central device um, so, yep. okay, the sheath comes with its own introducer and it can be placed through the back of this hemostatic valve and it's inserted in one piece like that. It's got a side port which to prevent air embolism should be primed first with saline. Although that's going to be tricky, put the introducer in and then turned off at the tap. So the vessel is accessed with the introducer needle and I'd expect a flashback at which point the needle can be stabilised, the syringe removed and the guide wire passed, the standard Seldinger technique. The position of the guide wire in the central vein should be confirmed at this point with ultrasound uh, and or aspiration or manual manometry. An additional nick is probably required. Uh, you can either use a scalpel or we would prefer just the bevel of the introducer needle adjacent to the guide wire, as you can see and then the combination dilator and central line can be placed using a push and possibly a gentle twist. And then that can be inserted right to the hub. Sharps disposed of appropriately. line should be secured, again confirming aspiration and uh, flow without resistance and we should be good to go.